Hello, in this presentation, we will enter the reversing entry related to unearned revenue into our bookkeeping problem in Excel, keeping in mind how the same information might be input into accounting software such as QuickBooks. We will be doing a reversing entry and this is related to the unearned revenue so we do have to take into consideration in terms of what was the adjusting entry that was originally made which will we will be reversing. First we're going to take a quick look at QuickBooks and then move to enter this information into Excel. If we take a look at the QuickBook customer balance we see that we have reversed this negative receivable. This is what the adjusting entry was, which we are now reversing. This is a little bit different than that textbook problem that we typically see for uh, unearned revenue. In this case, what we're saying is that the unearned revenue was a deposit that we received. We would received money from a customer and uh, we had to increase cash then. And then we credited, we couldn't credit revenue because we haven't yet earned it. And typically in a textbook problem, the proper thing under an accrual accounting would be to credit a liability unearned revenue. But in accounting software such as QuickBooks, oftentimes we actually, uh, from a logistic standpoint, will end up debiting or crediting the uh, accounts receivable account with that payment, even though there's no invoice to match it up with, which is technically wrong. However, it, w it works well because uh, then when we get the invoice later, we're able to match it up against the invoice very easily because it's in with our customers section rather than in this other account that uh, this uh, liability under revenue, which isn't tied to our customers and is more difficult for us to tie to our uh, invoice that we will later be issuing for that deposit. So what we did then is we had this amount, which was a negative receivable because it was still on the books as of the end of the time period, we needed to make an adjusting entry for it. We needed to take it out of the negative receivable and make it what it should be, which is a positive or uh, a liability of unearned revenue. So that's the adjusting entry we did here, as opposed to a textbook problem where we are typically seeing here's how much is in unearned revenue and how much of that unearned revenue has now been earned, taking it out of the unearned revenue and recording it as uh, income that has been earned. So there's a difference between those two, two types of scenarios, two types that will be encountered uh, in practice. So we have here then what we did here on the adjusting entry is what we're trying to do is now reverse this. Here's the uh, accounts receivable, negative receivable, and then we made this adjusting entry to get rid of it, to bring it back down to zero. And now as of the first day of the next month, we want to get rid of this basically, or reverse that with another entry, so that we're left with this negative receivable again. Why? Because logistically this negative receivable works well. It just, it ran over the timing difference when we made the financial statements, which means we had to adjust it in order to be in a proper accrual basis. But when we actually um, do the work, in our case, deliver the guitar, and we record the invoice, if we keep this negative amount here in the customer balance, it will match up against the invoice nicely, and uh, then it will be correct as of that point in time sometime in March, hopefully, if we issue the invoice in March. We can do that usually with we usually do whether we are in quickbooks or any other accounting software do that with journal entries do that with debits and credits that's something that we typically use still use debits and credits even with uh, software however it is possible to use the registers to do that in quickbooks and uh, not use debits and credits as much i think it's going to be a little more difficult to do that but it is possible to do that right now we're going to enter this into excel using debits and credits here we are in Excel. We're going to record this transaction as of 3-1, the first day of the following period after the financial statements were created, as we do with all of our reversing entries. Remember what we have here is we've got the post-closing trial balance. And what we're doing is just as of the beginning of the first month, putting in the reversing entries to give us our beginning balances, which will actually include in the temporary accounts these reversals that we have made before any activity has happened. And so we're going to do the reversing entry related to the unearned revenue adjustment. Before we do that, we'll just take a quick look at the adjusting entry. So we're going to go back over here to the adjusting entry tab. And we're going to scroll down to the bottom on the adjusting entry tab. We're going down to this adjusting entry. Here's what we did. We uh, 
recorded unearned revenue, meaning we increased this liability account by the 300 and we re and we increased the accounts receivable, increase in this accounts receivable. So again, why would that be the case? You, it's the case because we had a negative receivable, meaning in the past we collected money from a customer as a down payment, most likely on a guitar. So we got money for work we had not yet done. Um, so usually in a book problem, we would debit this checking account, credit unearned revenue at that point in time. However, in order to track this in our subsidiary accounts, it's easier not to credit unearned revenue at the point in time of the security deposit, but put it into the receivable. And then when we get the invoice or deliver or earn the revenue later, uh, we, and you know, we can match up the, the later earning the account receivable for the invoice to the deposit. So that's going to be the reason we did this. And what we need to do now is reverse this and record the actual liability. That's what we did in the adjusting entry as a positive liability and take it out of this negative receivable. So that's the adjusting entry we made. Now we're just going to reverse this. We're going to take this back out so that uh, the normal process, which works well logistically, although it's not perfectly generally accepted accounting pr uh, principles, can be put back in place, meaning we'll end up with this negative receivable for that one particular customer. Note that this amount isn't a negative receivable, that's a positive or a debit balance of 11274 but for this one particular customer, there's a negative receivable in there, and that's what we are dealing with here. So we'll have that uh, negative, we'll reverse this and have that negative receivable for that one particular customer, and then when they uh, uh, get the invoice, it'll match itself out. So we're going to reverse this entry. So here's the debit and the credit, accounts receivable and unearned revenue, ex respectively. We're just going to reverse that, debiting unearned revenue and crediting accounts receivable. Let's do that now. We're going to go to the reversing entries tab. And we are going to enter this information. So here's the 300 in unearned revenue. We need to make it to go down. So we're going to do the opposite thing to it, which in this case is a debit. So we will copy the unearned revenue, right click and copy. We're going to put that in B13, right click and paste, one, two, three. The amount will be $300. We're going to credit something for $300 and that will be going to the receivable. So here's the accounts receivable. We're going to copy that, going to right click and copy. We will put that in cell B14, right click and paste, one, two, three. Then we're going to go to the home tab, but we're going to go to the alignment group and increase the indenting. And then we will record this. So we have journalized the journal entry into the general journal for the reversing entry process. Now we will post this out. Here's the unearned revenue and here's the unearned revenue here. We want to post it to M17. We're going to select equals and that 300 and enter, bringing the balance down to zero. Here's the accounts receivable. If we scroll up to accounts receivable, here it is here. There's something in it. We are in M4. Therefore, we will double click on it, go to the end of it and say plus, and then point to that 300 in accounts receivable, bringing the balance down to uh, 10,449. So that's going to be the reversing entry. Notice that that's an unusual reversing entry than most book problems will have. There's no effect on net income for that adjustment or the reversal, uh, as opposed to if we were reversing the uh, unearned revenue and trying to see how much we had earned, which would be the other side would be uh, the revenue or sales account. So keep that in mind. That might be a little bit different than uh, you've some people may have seen in a textbook problem, but it is something that. Uh, does happen in practice just because logistically it works well to track those deposits within the receivable subsidiary ledger.